Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Redfield and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a follow-up to my most watched video of all time. Uh, I did a part two to this video, but this is gonna be part three and that is my top 10 favorite ADHD products. So I have actually spent almost a year trying to come up with 10 more products. I mean, I haven't been thinking about it that much, but it is something that I'm like, I can't do another video. I need to actually come up with some products that are actually useful. So I finally have some products for you guys and I'm really excited to go through them. So I have my list here on my phone. I love using that to just kind of walk through them. I have some of the products here with me. Some of them I'll just throw up a picture. Just depends on if I was organized and prepared enough for this video. So anyways, if you wanna make sure to subscribe for more videos about ADHD, as well as my favorite app, Notion, make sure to subscribe below. Okay, so let's start with number one. I'm gonna start with a couple of tech products first. So the one that actually is really funny to me, I actually, I think mentioned in one of the past videos, having a wireless headphones, I thought that they were great. What I've learned is that I always forget to charge them. So I've gone back to just a basic set of wired headphones. Here's the thing about them, you guys. You don't have to remember to charge them. They're always charged. You just plug them into your phone, you go on your walk, whatever you're doing. I have learned that that is just so much better for me because I don't have to remember to charge them all the time. Some days I'd be ready for my walk and realize that I have either lost my headphone or I have, you know, not charge them. So it was very annoying for me as someone who liked to go on a walk every day. So I just started using wired headphones again. So if you're wanting to try that out, I recommend it. So I have watched a couple other videos about ADHD products and I kept seeing the loop earplugs as an option. Basically what these are, they're kind of the opposite of headphones. They block out noise. So if you're at a coffee shop or somewhere loud and you can't focus, which has happened to me before, you just pop these in your ears and it kind of blocks out the noise, allows you to focus. So they're very small and they're about, I think they're $25, $20. And I do recommend them. I don't use them a ton, but I have used them before in certain circumstances. I just keep these in my purse or my backpack. And I, especially when you're out in public, this is a good thing. If you have some noise sensitivity or audio stimuli problems, I highly recommend the loop. They also have earrings I've seen where you can like link and put your looped headphones in your earrings. I thought that was interesting. Anyways, loop, I recommend. Okay, so another one I think I've mentioned in some of my tech product videos before, but my Apple tag is so valuable. And I wanted to put it in my ADHD product video because I got one last year and I have it on my keys, on my keychain. And now I never worry about my keys getting lost because I know I can just use the Find My on my iPhone and get instant access, know where my keys are, hear it. So if I ever lose them around the house, I never get uh, late for things anymore because I can't find my keys. I also just moved. So I'm gonna be doing some more videos on my new place. But one thing is making sure you have a place to put your keys. That's really important to have a place for everything. So having an organized key set is very helpful for me to know where my keys are when I go and try to drive somewhere. Okay, so the last thing on my tech list is my walking treadmill, which is right behind me. I actually just did a full video on this, so if you want more information, I do think this is a great product for ADHDers, and it is something that I have started using a lot, especially in the winter here in Minnesota, where it gets very cold. So if you haven't gotten a treadmill or a walking treadmill or a walking desk, I highly recommend checking out that video. There's a lot more to it. Next product really is not an ADHD product at all, but I thought ADHDers would like it because uh, sometimes we just get in those modes of not wanting to do anything and just lay in bed. And that is my Comfy, which is a very large sweatshirt like blanket. Um, I bought this, I think last summer, it was the best decision I've ever made. It was about 40 bucks I got at Target. I wear this all the time. And for someone who works from home or is trying to get focused and, and work on stuff, having something comfortable to wear is so important. And I just feel like, especially for people with ADHD who have like, you know, sensitivity to different things, whether that's the feeling of things. This is the most comfy sweatshirt. Uh, I don't have to pull my sweatshirt over my legs if I'm cold. The comfy is honestly one of the best investments I've ever done and I use it all the time. And it was on Shark Tank, so like it's a real product and it's about 40 bucks. I've never had to wash it. Um, I probably will at some point, but it's so comfortable. And like if I'm editing or something, I'll just throw it on. Um, highly recommend. Again, maybe not technically an ADHD product, but I wanted to throw it on this list. 
Okay, so this thing is downstairs in the kitchen, but I fell in love with my mini waffle maker. I got this at Aldi for $15. You can get it on Amazon, Target, wherever. They're available in a lot of places. And what I do is I buy from Costco. Um, that's the next thing I have is Costco membership. From Costco is a large thing of Kodiak pancake and waffle and batter mix. Now I used to try to make my own pancake batter mix and I just learned it's just easier to just buy it. It's faster. You literally have just a bag of it ready. You take one cup of that and three quarters cup water, mix it in a bowl and just spray the mini waffle maker, plop it in. That's it. It is one of the fastest, easiest protein based uh, meals that I have for myself these days and I have it a couple of times a week. You can also make a lot of other things in the waffle maker, eggs, lots of different things. But if you are struggling with trying to come up with something quick and easy for dinner, I highly recommend getting this little mini waffle maker. Um, it's not a large waffle maker where sometimes it's just hard to like chip off the, the, the waffle. This stuff is very, very easy and it's great for one person. Um, I make sometimes a couple of different waffles because they're so small and honestly, so good. You can mix in fruit or something into the waffles as well. I just recommend getting one of these little mini waffle makers. They are so, so cute and so helpful for making food. Okay, I recently moved, so a lot of these have to do with my house. I decided to get some good vacuums. So for making vacuuming great, I have two different vacuums. One actually comes apart, which I think is really cool, and so it has two in one, but then I also have just a separate one that's great for my car or for any spills around the house. So getting a good vacuum is really helpful. It'll make you wanna clean. I know a lot of people don't like cleaning or doing chars, so having vacuums is really awesome, and those are just one of the other ones that I have on my list. I just got a Costco membership and I love Costco because it allows me to buy things in bulk so that I don't have to remember to buy things and I have things especially things that don't expire easily. I like to have them in bulk and then have back stock of the things that I buy most frequently. So if you are someone who is constantly running out of something and you use it a lot, I recommend getting a Costco membership, especially if you live in the US. This is, I'm talking specifically to US people because it's $60 a year, plus you save so much on gas, you guys. If you have a Costco membership, the gas there is so much cheaper. So I think it's worth the $60 a year and you get like larger quantities of things. And I have started going to Costco a lot more. I'm actually gonna go there today uh, after I film some of my videos and I'm really excited to get some stuff for myself. So the last topic I wanted to cover is laundry. So I have a couple of different items that I use for laundry that I thought would kind of sum up the rest of this video. And I'll actually walk you over to my laundry area um, in my brand new closet. And I just want to show you a couple of the bins that I use as well as some folding table ideas. So let's just head over there and I'll show you guys what I have. Okay, so I'm currently in my closet. The door is shut behind me. And I've actually set up this table and I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. This is my folding table for my clothing. On top of the table, you can't really see it, is one of those folding things for when I'm doing laundry. The reason I decided to add a table to my laundry area is because I hated dumping all of my clothes on my bed and then I had to go to sleep. And sometimes I don't get to laundry right away, so I needed to have a separate table. So this table is where I dump my clean clothes after I'm done with the laundry. What's cool about this, and I'll show you, is that underneath there is enough room for my laundry baskets. So my laundry baskets sit underneath this table in my laundry area. I have three different laundry baskets that I use. One is a rolling one, and then the next one is I have like kind of a mesh one that I got at Walmart, and then the last one is one that pops out and folds out. I keep that down there to kind of bring things from one to the other. I do have a roommate and sometimes I forget to do my laundry or it sits in the, you know, washer or the dryer. And if there's no place to put it, I have this bin down there to put all of my either clean or dirty clothes in um, just so that I'm not taking up her space if I have forgotten to do the laundry, which happens a lot. 
So anyways, those are the three things that I have. I have this laundry table from Ikea. Um, all it is is the four table legs and just like a long table. Um, I do have it in my closet because I do have room in here, but a lot of people may not. You can put it in your bedroom, wherever you have room, maybe even in your laundry room. Um, and it really does help me organize on top of here my heaps of clothing without having to put them on my bed, which I think becomes a big ADHD issue. I have wanted to do a video on laundry, but this is the best solution I have found when it comes to laundry. So I just wanted to share that with you guys for this video. Okay, hope that this video is helpful for you. I want to say that obviously these are things that I personally like and enjoy. They don't have to be things that you like and enjoy. I do have some affiliate links below for some of the Amazon links. I just wanted to preface that. And then also just note that these again are not everything that you need. If there's other things that are better for you, I just wanted to share this with the world and just give you some ideas and hopefully it's helpful if you haven't you know, heard of some of these things, whatever. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will probably do a part four maybe in another year. All right, talk to you later, bye.